Okay, I had a request to make a video, so I'm just gonna make one real quick. Um, not a lot's been going on with my fish tank. I just put on my background I used to have. It's like a mirror back. Um, looks kind of crappy, but it, I mean, it adds depth, so. I'll show you in a second, but I just want to talk about something, because I really didn't know what to talk about to make a video. But now I have something in mind. Um, where you can get the cheapest aquarium plants. Probably Walmart, I would say. And I'm talking bulbs, okay? That actual sprout plants. They're really cheap. You can find like five, six, seven, I've even had like nine in one pack for like three bucks. And they started selling lily bulbs to a pack, two in a pack for like 350 something I don't know um, I'll show you a look at some of my Apana getting and my lily bulbs in a second but that's usually the easiest place to get them but one thing I do want to tell you about with the um, Apana getting and lily bulbs um, when you get them out of the pack at Walmart you gotta think they've been in there for a pretty long time um, so you're not always gonna get sprouts from every single one of them. Now, I've, I'd like to say I've had sprouts from about five upon getting bulbs, and I probably bought over, like, four packs. Um, that's at least, like, 15 bulbs, and I've only had, like, a few sprouts. I have a few still alive. I have three still alive in my tank, and I have a lily bulb that's doing really well really surprised at the lily bulbs. They look nice. So, I'll just show you. The lily bulb, yeah, you can see my background, it's kind of like foily looking. The red back there, not the fish. The red is a lily bulb. And this little thing, there's actually two they're packed together right here the green is upon again and upon again and lily bulbs lily bulbs will shoot to the top you can see one right here almost to the top and you can see one up here and right here taking up all the freaking space well you see the little bit of red that's the lily bulb you see the big line going. this is the upon again I've moved this guy to the back because all this plant likes to do is shoot ones up to the top. Really get massive. They really do. This is when it's taken out of the tank. I took it out and replanted it the other day. It was probably about a good three feet. And this is a four feet tank. So I'd say mm, about to there, about that long. It's fully stretched out. Okay. You got to think when they get to the top, they'll sag and kind of lay on the top. But it's in the back and it's sprouting up new little dudes. And see, I've got two other lily bulbs in here that have not sprouted yet, which I got them yesterday. Or not yesterday, a couple, I don't know. Um, the other lily bulb, you probably won't be able to see it. Yeah, you can't see it. It's tucked down in that little rock right there, where it kind of goes like this. I tucked it down in there. I apologize for the crappy camera and me always moving it real fast, but whatever. Um, so my review on Walmart plants is, I mean, there's like three bucks for a pack. You can't expect them to all grow. So, I have had some really nice growth out of them, and it's probably the cheapest and easiest place to go to get quick plants you know so if you're lacking plants and you're lacking money just throw a couple in and see what you can get because this is the first actually red plant I've ever had and I really like it really like it there's also another bulb right back here well, that's about it all I wanted to talk about
so yeah you don't have to su subscribe or like my video I just like views and comments so take care guys